Here is a quick video of the first version I wrote for the UV3R firmware. This is extremely beta, um, but you can get to see it anyways. So, first of all, you have a quick mode. This is a quick programming mode where the first line right above there is the frequency. This is the private line, CTCSS, and up there is an offset that um, basically based on the if it's 2 meter will be kilohertz, 70 centimeters will be in the megahertz, so you can do plus 5. Or, so this is a very quick mode, and you can change any one of these digits by just going in here and turning the dial. So quickly, much more quicker than the interface before, to change the transmission. Um, so right now, I'll transmit quickly. KK6 BWA testing. Okay, the next thing, if you press menu, you can get to a status mode. This gives you a voice status and a receive status. So, for example, if I transmit here, you can see the receive is actually increasing. This is a negative dB. I didn't put the negative yet. KK6 BWA testing. The other thing, too, is you can also transmit and get the status of the voice. So... The next one is DTMF transmit, <clears throat> and you can transmit whatever characters you want. For now, up to six, you can set here. Again, by switching to this way, you can go to different ones and transmit. So, for example, right now it's going to transmit one, two, three. I can change this one to, let's see. If so you can quickly transmit DTMF tones quickly. Okay, well, so that's all I have for now and still working on some other um, memory. So basically being able to store all this, the power levels, setting all this stuff. Um, but for now, if you want more information, you can go to my website at www.liorelazari.com. Click on HEM and the UV3R.